Hey you guys, God bless all of you. Thanks for watching Mike Reed Outdoors. Hey man, up here in Bland County, Virginia, we got an ice storm this morning. And uh, it's still the rain, you can still hear it, it hit the roof right now. So, looks like it's going to be a nice day to stay inside and do a how to make a coonskin cap video. So, I've got my coonskins tanned. See there? Pretty nice, come out pretty good. So I'm going to take this coonskin, guys, and show you how to turn this one and a piece of this one into a coonskin cap. Okay, guys, the first thing you want to do is you want to make a pattern to go around your head, okay? Now, the distance across this pattern right here, and this is about average, guys, is about 8 inches. So, to get the distance around your circumference here, you want to take 8 and multiply it by 3.4 and whatever that comes up to that's the distance around your hat size now you'll notice that I'm in this pattern right here I hope you can see this guys your head is not perfectly round nobody's is so what I did was I'm show you this pretty this is as simple like if you was outdoors doing this it's like eight inches this direction. Now watch. This direction, it's six and a half inches. Remember, I'm telling you this because you might be doing this in a survival situation. So what I've done is I measured off the center here, three and an eighth and three and an eighth, which gives me six and a half inches between these two points. Okay, and then I brought it to taper it in to make it sort of fit your head instead of just looking like a bowl sitting on top of your head. And you can leave the tail on the skin, guys, or you can cut the tail off of the skin. Now, I'm going to leave the tail on the skin. That way I don't have to re-sew it back on there because I think a coonskin cap should have a tail on it just, just for looks. Now you simply lay your pattern down. Leave enough room for your tail there. Sure there ain't no crinkles in it. Alright guys, there it is. Now, there is a couple of ways of doing this, guys. You can cut four inch strips straight across your coon skin or up and down your coon skin and sew them strips together to go all the way around your, your hat. Or you can do what I'm going to do. I'm going to cut a strip out of that other dip, that hide over there because it has a hole in it. I'm going to cut a strip out of it, and we're going to just take and just sew one piece all in. Yeah, since I got a woodworking shop right here where I'm at, I just cut me a piece of wood. To mark this pattern with. Pretty simple. Come back, we'll get as much of that hide in there that, as we possibly can. Okay, you guys, I measured, and I am about four inches short, shy of coming around the back of that skin. So I'm going to have to cut another piece and sew it onto this piece so that I can get the distance. Okay, there's the two pieces that makes it long enough so now I have to sew them two together right there okay guys I'm going to use a hole punch here that lines the holes up to pre-punch these holes this is just an easy way to do it I mean you can punch it with a all if you want to probably what you have to do out in the woods but 
and use what we got, the tools that we got to do it with. Okay, you guys, I'm going to use old-fashioned flax thread to sew this up with, this whole skin. You can buy this stuff online, or you can probably just go right to Hobby Lobby and get it. But what you do is you tie you a little bitty knot right here. I'm going to show you something right here some of you probably don't know. Instead of doing, instead of doing your thread this way, I'm going to show you how to use a single piece of thread to do this. You've got a knot in this end right here. Find just about the center of that thread and do that number right there and see what you got. You've got you can sew with a single hope you guys can see that piece of thread. So I'm going to sew that together and then I'll show you how it looks. Okay guys, you see how I'm sewing it? I'm using a whip stitch to do this. And I can tell you that if a, if a coon hide is tanned really good, guys, it's pretty it's really pretty soft, but if you pre-punch them holes, this is this is really easy to do. That whip stitch just goes right back around. The skin right back through the hole again. That's all it really does. Now, since I'm using flax cor uh, flax thread right here, instead of burning the end of it, see this is not going to burn and melt like that other fake stuff does. So I'll sew it backwards about two holes. I'm about a quarter of the way around, guys. You don't you don't realize how far it is around your head. Start to sew us strip of skin around us that size of it. Sounds like it might start thawing out there, but that ice is hanging on thick out there this, this afternoon. Okay, you guys, that's what it looks like. The seam ended up on this side where I sewed them two pieces together. And there's what it looks like in the back right now. So let's turn it around. You have to leave enough room when you sew that up, guys, so the tail will come back out. Then you can finish sewing that up. that now what I need to do you guys is sew the rest of it up there and then I need to wash it in a really good degreaser and just degrease it one more time but that's how you make a raccoon skin cap you guys do that Thanks for watching Mike Creed Outdoors. God bless you. Have yourself a great day.